So basically, this particular packet tracer just deals mainly with answering a bunch of questions. And the big thing here is this entire uh, packet tracer activity is going through simulation mode. So for part, uh, for step one, we're only looking at HTTP. Uh, which is here. And uh, when they're talking about the uh, far left pane, they're talking about the, this entire thing. Not the, not the left icon, which is the web server. Uh, the thing that displays the entire network. That is the, uh, uh, that is network pane and what they're referring to when they say left pane. And so click on... Uh, the PC, go to desktop, go to, uh, go to web browser, and go to osi.local, and click on go. And it would be helpful if you guys actually see what's going on here. So go. <laughs> and it starts there. And then goes to the web server, and then it sends back to the web client. Uh, so the first one is just the uh, packet starting at the web client. Layer 7 is active, but there's nothing. Uh, nothing in 6 or 5. In layer 4, it's uh, put in... Uh, it's labeled as... Uh, source of 1025, source port as 1025, and destination as uh, 80. And destination as 80, that's because that's the uh, well-known port number for HTTP. And then the 1025 for the source port, that's basically because uh, they're grabbing either the first available or just a random port number that is not on the list of well-known port numbers. Layer 3, that's just the source and destination IPs. Layer 2, that's just the uh, source and destination MAC addresses. And then the next one is, it's about to send it out to the web server. So it sends out on fast Ethernet 0. And then uh, for the actually sending it to the web client, uh, it's uh, sending it out. Uh, and then as far as sending it back to the uh, computer, uh, it start, uh, starts at the web server, and the source is now 80, and the destination is now 1025, because, those, uh, because now the source is the server, not the client. So uh, when, it's the uh, when it's the client sending to the uh, server, the, uh, the source will be the client. But when it's uh, the server... Uh, responding when it's the server sending to the client, uh, the server will be the uh, will be the source. This also means the IPs are switched and the MAC addresses are switched out in the out layers, and sends it out in on port fast Ethernet zero, and then it can't uh, and then. It, uh, okay, so it came in on port zero. Uh, the ink, uh, the server is the source when it's coming in. Uh, uh, plug. 
the client is the source when it's coming in, and the server is the uh, destination. <laughs> and, and that's why the uh, MAC addresses are ordered this way incoming. And same with the IPs, and same with the ports. And then when it's going out, everything is flipped. And then uh, coming into the uh, coming into the client, it comes in uh, through port uh, F zero zero. It's the, uh, and it's the destination. So uh, the MAC address, IP address, and uh, destination, and the port for the destination are on uh, the right, and the uh, MAC address, IP, and port for the source is on the left. Uh, and there is no text to display in layer 7. And then uh, click the first DNS event. So what additional event types are displayed? DNS, ARP, TCP. Those are the three, yeah. The output layer. It's an... Uh, it's DNS information. Source port 1025, destination 53. 53 is the well-known port number for DNS. And here we're looking at the actual headers. And then also going down to the DNS query. Uh, name is uh, OSI local. It's displaying both of them, but it's at uh, the web client. So, yeah, that would be your answer for this one. Uh, 192.168.1.254 uh, for the uh, value of the address. That's always going to be IP address. 192.168.1.254. 